Welcome back. It's been a while since I've uh, shared something with you. Uh, COVID-19 has changed everything. Um, you know, it's been a while since I've gotten any ships or ordered anything, priorities, life, all of that good stuff. Uh, but I did manage to get my hands on this cool thing, uh, which came in yesterday, treated myself to it. Um, and this is from the new Star Trek Online Starships collection, uh, which seems to be pretty cool. I confess that I personally have never really been into the game. Um, you know, I, I just, I never really got into it. I guess I wanted to, but I, I you know, I, I just never, it just never took off for me personally. Um, but the ships look cool and um, I'm very eager to check this out. Now I don't have the first two issues. Apparently this is issue number three in this collection, um, but uh, this one looks cool. And um, you know, I've been wanting to check these out for a little while now. So I picked this one first and we'll evidently go back to get whatever couple of ones that I may be interested in, but I'm not gonna be getting the whole entire collection like I did with the uh, normal Star Trek Starships collection. So yeah, now that's out of the way, here we are. This appears to be issue number three of the Star Trek Online Starships collection. And it appears to be the USS and the Andromeda NCC 92100. And as you can see, I love this new packaging that they did. Um, I, I kind of almost wish that the normal Starships collection was packaged this way as well. It would have definitely made them easier to kind of store, I think. Um, but anyway, and you can see a nice ship in there. And looking at the box on the back, you can see uh, what else is available or will be available in that collection coming up pretty soon. I think the next one I might get is the, the uh, Buran, so that it's on my radar in the future. Um, so yeah, and it looks like it comes with the model and the magazine. So I'm going to open this nice looking box up and get its contents out and then of course share with you all right folks and there we have it there's the magazine for issue number three of the star trek online starships collection the uss andromeda ncc 92100 neat looking image of the ship on the cover there of course bear in mind that none of these ships actually appeared on screen as in any episode or movies of any of the shows this was strictly from a game only. So all of the images in located inside of this magazine will be concept art or green caps from the game itself or whatnot. So yeah, it's active or was active in the 25th century, 695 meters long, and its role is as an exploration cruiser. So you open it up. And interesting to note that this magazine is a little bit smaller, kind of like the shuttlecraft uh, magazines that came or that were included with the shuttle packs, or shuttlecraft pack sets from the uh, Star Trek Starships collection. So you open it up and uh, this is my first time looking at it. So you're looking at it for the first time, just like I am. And it has a little table of contents here on the left and uh, how to mount the model to the stand here. And finally, we get to the uh, little text about it, a little history down here, and uh, a nice image of the ship there as well. Turn the page, we have some more images or whatnot, and more text. Finally, we have the plan view showing you where various components are, etc., etc. And the designing process of the Andromeda. And more on that. And here we have some magazine filler on the uh, Iconian's return. I don't know if the Andromeda 
or the ship or whatnot was involved in any of that. Um, again, I haven't played the game, but it would be interesting to read this and check that out. And more on that. And we finally get a nice stats page in place of the on-screen appearance page from the other collection. So yeah, this is all stats uh, on the, from the ship that would be seen in the game. And if you were to be getting issue number four, you would be getting this Klingon ship that would be coming up. So yeah, pretty cool stuff here. Nice glossiness to the covers. I like that. And like all other Star Trek Starships magazines, we get a uh, view of the ship there. So now I'm going to put this aside and get to the model itself. All right. Look at that. This here is a pretty nice model. I have been sitting on getting any of these for a while now mainly because they're not really canon and um, that sort of thing. But just, this is an exquisite looking model. Look at that. The registry, probably a little too small for my taste, but it's still nice and clear. You can see that. A lot of red striping and stuff around, phaser banks or whatnot. Um, looking at this design, it is clearly the evolution or an homage to the Galaxy class. You can clearly see that especially with the way the nacelles are, kind of in a lowered position with the pylons here, the uh, thick, you know, neck, dorsal section, the big deflector dish down here, and the oversized saucer section. Um, this definitely looks like something that could be considered a 25th century looking Starfleet ship. Um, I don't know why they didn't do this for Picard, but anyway. Uh, um, the top of this ship looks nice. Um, Looks like the USS Andromeda portion got a little bit lost there. So that's a little bit of a bummer. Uh, but the registry number is intact. Um, it would have been nice, again, if this were bigger, maybe bigger across this hull, part of the hull there. Uh, this appears to be the bridge. Um, your phaser array. And I'm going to guess that this is the shuttle bay. It looks to be just like the Galaxy class. Your impulse engines are back here. Um, Interestingly enough, um, there are no, oh, no, I'm wrong. There are clear blue for the warp nacelles in there. You can kind of see it's there, very small. Um, what about the Bassard collectors? Let's see that. Um, yeah, I, those are plastic as well. So we do get some clear blue plastic and red for the Bassard collectors and the warp nacelles, which is nice. Um, on the underside of the ship, we get some more detail. Looks like a lot of escape pods down there. We get the Starfleet stripe and pendant delta there. Um, so that's cool. More phaser emitters back here on, on the back of the secondary hull. Um, pretty cool. Starfleet stripe and pendant on the top of themselves as well. So definitely cool. I have to say, I really like this design. And this really does seem like an evolution of the Galaxy class or an evolution um, of any Starfleet ships from the late 24th century and into the 25th. I can definitely see this and it would be nice if this would be something that they actually may be used on screen. Um, yeah, it looks almost just like the Galaxy class, albeit with a few variations. Um, I can almost see a little bit of the, maybe the Sovereign in this. Um, uh, no, that's incorrect. It's more of the Galaxy than anything else. And, uh, yeah, it's an overall nice model. I'm really happy with this. I'm glad I picked this one. Um, I figured this was a nice place to kind of start. Um, I might get a couple of more different ones. Uh, but as I mentioned earlier, I won't be getting every single issue. Uh, mostly space, time, and money are factors contributing to that. And, of course, life priorities have also taken have taken precedence so so yeah i'm so happy and thrilled that i'm able to share this with you it fits in your hand about that much so as you can tell as you can see it's big a lot bigger than the normal star trek starships some of them anyway um it fits takes almost takes up almost my whole hand um the metal portion is the saucer section uh, 
with the plastic portion being a secondary hull, etc. Also cool thing to note that the deflector dish is plastic. Uh, in fact, the entire deflector dish is plastic uh, with the exception of the green or that other part in the middle. But everything else inside of there is clear blue, which is definitely nice to see. And uh, I think this would be, make a nice addition to the collection, uh, to my collection. Anyhow, if you're a fan of Star Trek Starships, if you love Star Trek Online or anything like that, then this is definitely something that you're going to want to pick up. If you, Especially if you play the game or have followed the game since the beginning. Um, I own the game. I bought that collector's edition that came out from Best Buy back in 2008 or 9 when the game came out. And I just never bothered to really get into it. Um, but yeah, this looks awesome. And uh, I, I would highly recommend it for all Star Trek Starships fans. It's definitely worth it. Uh, it's a little bit more money than the average Starship. And if I recall correctly, this was like $29 here in the States. Uh, so yeah, and it's also cool to kind of get something cool or nice. Uh, especially as we are going through some pretty troubled times here in our country and in this world uh, with coronavirus and all the political and social upheaval that's been happening. And this is a nice diversion away from all of that. So I hope you guys are staying safe, healthy out there. I hope you are all protecting yourselves and wearing masks and using hand sanitizer and all of those things to protect yourselves, your friends and loved ones and uh i look forward of course to sharing more things with you in the future uh, i apologize for my absence but i hope to remedy and change that perhaps going forward so please bear with me so until next time guys thank you so much for watching i'm so grateful if you have any questions or anything or just want to say hi please drop it down below and i'll get back to you and uh yeah and until next time live long and prosper be safe and I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye now.